Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katarina and this is Sabina right over here. Hi. And today we're doing a mukbang, mukbang, whatever, whatever. it's called. Yeah. So first, also 10 facts about me. Yes, and 10 facts about me. In Sabina's video, we made banana bread and sushi and so good. You can see that the sushi came out a little bit. All right, all right. It looked like this. All yes. Right. It looked pretty. Yes. And we have to now. And when we cut yeah. it, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. did that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the tip is to use a knife that's like a wet knife and big knife. So we're going to do that right now and see how that works. Some room to. Oh, I can't even slide it over. Uh, don't play with knives, kids. Run. 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 Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. do you want to do the honors or should I? You can do the honors. Okay. Amazing. I'm gonna try one. <laughs> this knife is so big for and no the reason. The rice is really, really sticky. The rice is so sticky. So sticky that one wasn't that bad. Okay. okay, I think it's your finger, your magic fingers. So I guess while she's getting that, I'll tell you. So we have some banana bread, some salmon sushi. It has salmon, avocado, cucumber, some sashimi. And then over here we have the leftover seaweed and salmon and avocado and cucumber that uh -huh. we just like turn into a little salad and some ginger and then our spicy mayo sauce and soy sauce. Yes. Here is some Get on our level. So, um, we are both 17. I was about to say seventh graders. <laughs> Should I like search up facts in case? Search up facts. I don't know how this is gonna go. Yeah. Um. Well, fun fact about Sabina, she is a very talented singer and. She plays piano and she so recently. Disgusting. What? That was so disgusting. So she plays the piano and uh, make sure you go check out her singing videos. Give it a like. Fun fact about Katarina if you didn't know, she's yeah. a figure skater. She used to do it competitively, mm -hmm. now she coaches. So if you, you want need lessons, coach, hit me up. Oh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. This banana bread. Don't worry, we cleaned it. This isn't working. Oh, yeah, that's, that's my piece. Give it to me. We clean the table, guys. Okay. All right. So mm. this banana bread, mm -hmm. I have a recipe to it on my channel, so you should watch that. Um, after if you don't be a bake. <laughs> if you're subscribed uh -huh. and you have not watched every single video, Aww. what's the point? Yeah. Fish is so good. Fish is so good. Fish is so good. I know. Mm. By the way, what was I gonna say? I don't know. Um, should I switch up 10 facts? Yes, please. I have we're just so hungry. Like, we were making this food and we're dreading the moment until we, like, could sit down and eat. It's, we have, there's 25 questions. So I guess we'll just, like, pick and choose which one's the Number answer. one. What is your middle name? I don't have a middle name. Okay, mine is Alexandra. 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 Katarina Alexandra. Alexandra. Oh my god, hold on. Moment of truth. What? The sushi. The sushi. I'm gonna take this. Okay. All of them are falling apart. They're all broken, but we'll help. They're a little hard to eat, but let's see. We'll do it at the same time. Cheers. Cheers. There, there. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. That tastes like actual sushi, guys. Except like a little falling apart, but. Yeah. I'm sorry if I offend anyone. When I eat sushi, I take it apart, I unwrap it. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. That's another fact about me. Mm. I do it sometimes. I just, I'm weird like that. I feel like when I take it apart. See, look, it's falling apart by mm -hmm. on its own. I, I feel like- I like, too much rice. Yeah, or also when I dump the, yeah. <laughs> the whole handful of water on it. Mm -hmm. mm. I feel like when I take it apart, I get to try everything individually and then together it's like the experience, Bang. you know? What is your favorite song at the moment? Okay, so yeah. my favorite song is Know Your Worth by Colleen. How about yours? Do you even have a favorite song right now? I don't have a favorite song. Mm -hmm. I listen to so many different genres of music. Yeah. So I can't like pick a favorite, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm just gonna do it. Either. Honestly, that question is hard, but for now- Good question, like, yeah. yeah, it's hard. I listen to a lot of country music, um, but I definitely do. Fun fact, I am not a big fan of country music, but- You know what? Fight me. Um, the only so the song is Speechless. I'm speechless. That's like the most mm -hmm. e everyone's favorite yeah. country song because it's like a pop song. But yeah, also tequila. So, like tequila yeah. sounds like it's a pop song. Yeah, it's country. Nice to be then Che, shout out to you guys. Mm -hmm. If you if ever, watch, ever this video, watch this video, we love you guys. I love you. Be quiet. I love you guys. I know all your songs. <laughs> okay. Favorite perfume. Favorite perfume. Do you have? Do you wear perfume? 
perfume? I wear perfume, but like not all the time. I got one for my birthday. I don't even know the name of it, but I got it from Jesse. So shout out Jesse if you're watching this. Mine's like Miss Dior perfume. I think Blooming Bouquet or something like that. It, like it's so light and. Oh. <laughs> Favorite holiday? Christmas. For me, New Year's. Definitely. I like New Year's. You? Mm hmm. Why? So, in like my family, we get gifts on New Year's. It's like a Russian thing. Mm. It's weird to like for people to hear, but we get gifts New Year's. I mean, it's like Chinese New Year's where yeah. they get gifts yeah. and money and stuff. Mm hmm. Absolutely. I like that. Mine is just Christmas because yeah. um, I just love celebrating, you know, like what Christmas is actually right. about, like biblically. family, biblically, and then also yeah, yeah. being with my family. Like gifts are nice always, like everyone is like, oh, it's nice to get gifts, but like, just, I love feeling Christmas. Just like the vibe. Waking like, up the in the spirit, morning. Like the smell. Mm -hmm. Like in my house, we make it Christmas. Like you have that winter I've, smell. I've been to her it's house so for like a Christmas thing, and it was so Christmassy in there. She I has like stuff from, from like before Halloween or something like that. We set up for Crazy. Christmas. I, it was summertime. Yeah, I set up for Christmas. I started listening to Christmas music in July, so don't come at me, but next week is when I start oh my, my Christmas. <laughs> Are you married? No. I'm married to her. Really? No. She just said no. Do it, I'm sorry. I forgot. No, we're divorced. Okay. Oh, do you speak any other language? You speak a little French. Well, I speak Russian. I speak some French. I speak English. All oh, right, in English. Can't forget about I that. I speak English, um, Spanish, and I speak Chinese mm -hmm. in school. So I would say like I'm intermediate like Chinese. Chinese is hard, man. Chinese is hard. Yo, I don't know if that role's gonna last. Mm -mm. I'm low key starving. Oh. Okay, this is my last piece. This is my last piece, then. Girl, gotta chop chop with your mouth. Oh, I have to take one with my mom. Favorite movie. Favorite movie. I answered this in my Q and A because I answered the question <laughs> asking what movie can you watch over and over again mm -hmm. without like stopping. Um, so I said Wally. -E. Have you ever watched it? Yeah, I just I watch it, but like I could go without watching it, you know. <laughs> I like. <laughs> The spicy bay I was hitting. I like the movie, mm -hmm. but it's like, I don't know. Everyone, I don't get sad at movies. So like, I can't watch a lot of sad movies because everyone is like crying or whatever and I'm just there like. Yeah. Gifted, have you ever seen the movie Gifted? With, um, what's his face? The guy who plays, oh my gosh. The girl who's in the Annabelle movie, she's like the child. She's like- I've never watched Annabelle. One of the most famous like child actor. She's in everything. Really? And then, Chris Evans. Mm -hmm. That movie made me cry. I've never broken a bone. That's a fun fact. Me I've, neither. Me neither. Um, I've never had a cavity. Oh, I've had several, but before like my adult mm -hmm. teeth. Um, by the way, she took uh, she um, removed her braces like a month ago. Yeah, I think it's crazy. Like a month ago. Fun fact: I lived in Michigan and Toronto, and now I'm back in Jersey. So before, like throughout the <laughs> During the time I was gone, I um, I mean, we never spoke. We lost contact. We yeah. weren't we weren't really friends. Like, it's elementary. elementary school. We're like friends, but like we weren't we're, like best. Yeah, it was like, like we saw each other. You know, yeah, like, like how are you? We saw each other. Like we would like hold hands, you know, like little girls yeah, take yeah, pictures yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. When she moved away, um, oh my god, I'm struggling. <laughs> oh, look how the turns have tape. How the turns <laughs> Um, when she moved away after fifth grade, it like. I don't want to say it didn't affect me because that sounds so harsh, right. but like it didn't affect me <laughs> because yeah, we no, were never like that. close. Yeah, because we never That's really had a connection. Yeah, but then I, like I saw changed. her. Things I saw so her much. sophomore year in the hallway, and I had to do like a double take. I was like, "Is that is that her?" And I was like, and then she's like, "Savina," and then we hit it off. Now we're best friends, and I hope that stays forever and ever. Questions? Can you quote? We can cook. Not perfectly, cook. but we literally have a video of us making this. Yeah. Period. <laughs> like Sabina mentioned before. <laughs> Yo! You did Yo! not just say that. It makes my stomach hurt. I used to finish with a drink. No.
I don't know. What are you hoping for this channel to grow into? And like, well, right now, um, I'm using like I'm utilizing this platform to kind of make myself like a little basis mm -hmm. for expansions. expansions. Put out videos. Oh, for put out. <laughs> That's for I'm, I'm trying to put out as much content as possible right now to kind of entertain you guys. Well, obviously especially most with of quarantine, yeah. it's like especially perfect. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think both of us love filming and editing. I love like I've been editing for uh -huh. so long, but I just kept the videos. For myself. So I guess like about a year and a half ago, I decided to like make a YouTube channel, and I was like, put you know, I can there. put my skills in editing, and you know filming videos and just creating this channel and yeah. uploading like every week. That's I think it comes with like the same thing with your channel. What? Like you wanted to make this channel to put out your memories, your- You want a fun fact, fun fact? Okay. I had a YouTube channel. When oh, I was right. in, when right, I was right, in right, eighth right. grade mm -hmm. called Simply Sabina and it was mm -hmm. kind of fire, but I was getting like made fun of in school. So I closed it. Mm -hmm. Um, because like, you know, your YouTube channel, it's like a piece of you that you're putting out, you're being vulnerable and talking to, not really an audience, but right. putting yourself At out first, there. Yeah. And for people to then kind of Judge mock you. it and make fun of it, like every time I would walk into a class, they'd Especially be like- Especially middle school. Exactly. Middle school exactly. is, I feel like I find it's the most dramatic. Every time I walked into class, yeah. they'd be like, oh, here comes Simply Sabina, or like Simply Sabina has a question, so, like just like right. making fun of it type of thing. But kind of just closed it. Um, and that's when I just started editing videos and then never putting it out there because I was just kind of scared. Thankfully, um, my birthday came around this year. Good drive by, mm -hmm. and my friends. Go check it out. Victoria mm -hmm. set up a surprise drive by, and all of my friends were there, including Katarina. Um, so that was like the perfect way to start my YouTube channel. Yeah. So, yeah. shout out to you, Victoria. Shout out, mm -hmm. shout out the realist. So, I remember when in elementary school or like middle school, we had like seaweed packs. It was like a thing. Those were the thing. It was bomb.com. Using my words! You, like, when you have like a close relationship with someone, you start using you start their phrases. Like yeah. them, yeah. Sometimes you're It's like, interesting how the brain works that way. Just check a lot of asked for this, but we're giving it to you. Sometimes, like, when you surround yourself with the bad crowd, you start doing what they do. So right. it's the same thing when you surround yourself with good people, um, you start like catching on to what they do. And like, like I said, mm -hmm. bro. I said it in my video, but the only reason we're hanging out is because we've been isolating ourselves. We know who we've been around, which has been literally just mm -hmm. our family and each other. Yeah. Like, she's my best friend. Jesse and Victoria are my best friends. The only time we hang out is like when we're with each other. So I trust her. That's why we're not wearing masks. Yes. But so we are at a, a little bit of a distance. A little. We're like one foot, but. <laughs> it's like, okay. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. I had yeah. no idea what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Because the reason I even said that, um, because we're always hanging out, sometimes yes. we um, pick up on each other's mannerisms and we do it and without even noticing. Without even noticing, exactly. Not noticing. <laughs> um, I was watching this video. Spice mayo. Spice So good. <laughs> what does your name mean? Oh. That's interesting. That's like a good That's question. That's a good question. That kind of took us by surprise. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What does your name mean? I know it's like Greek origin, Russian origin. <laughs> Let's see. What does Katerina mean? Yeah. The name Katerina is often associated with the Greek word katharos, meaning pure. So hashtag. Hashtag guess, pure. Hashtag pure. And so it's like Greek. Greek, it's a Greek name, Russian name. How about yours? Okay, so in Italian culture, mm -hmm. there's like a spirit named Sabina, and she's like a leader and like takes care of kids. Like she's like really nurturing and loving. Ew. So that's like one meaning of my name, yeah. but there's like, I've seen so many different meaning so let's search it up and see i feel like every single parent whenever they name their kid the name is always like significant Sweet. meaning it's like your parents know subconsciously they know why it's a message from God yeah, yeah 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 maybe you know they know what they're naming you 
-hmm. in a way of like reflecting on your personality. It says the name Sabina means Sabine woman and is of Latin origin. Okay. The Sabines were a tribe that lived in the central Apennines of ancient Italy. Ancient, 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 ancient Italy. Italia. 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 Their lands were eventually taken over by the Romans after several wars. According to the legend, they were abducted. <laughs> they were abducted? Okay. All right, but it says that it's like a, a saint. So interesting. Oh, are you named after anyone? No. Oh, okay, then. Oh, wait, my middle name in Russian culture, okay? You take the dad's first name and put it in the last name, but make it feminine depending on whether you're a girl or, or not. So, so Alex? yeah, so Alexander, Alexandra. So that is my middle name. Like some people for their middle name, like in American culture, they sometimes like just use like if their dad's name, name was whatever, mm -hmm. they just like use a family name or they just like a name. Um, but they already have a first name chosen, so then they just put it as their middle name. My name kind of is weird. I don't know. Some of you viewers might not know this, but there was a thing called the Almanac. Al Al Almanac, Almanac right? yeah. yeah. And according to that, my mom's name was supposed to be Sabina. Oh. And her mom, so my grandma, had a friend named Carmen oh. and liked that name, so she ended up naming my mom, Carmelina. Carmelina! But, <laughs> shout out to you, mommy. Yes. But, you raised an amazing girl, a beautiful girl. Um, my mom didn't really like that name. <laughs> um, so she said, if I ever have a daughter, I'm gonna name her Sabina. So. Aww. That's me. I'll be back. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have you ever been to, we've well, never been to Europe. Never. We should go there to Italy together. Italy. Fuck that. Uh-huh. There was a trip in eighth grade, mm -hmm. the Europe trip. Yeah. And it was to travel all of Europe and I was gonna go, but I ended up not going. Oh, that's... <laughs> so, no, I have not. Is it the yet? school offered a Europe trip. Mm -hmm. For what? It was like, it was, um, like select students. Mm, like, like, like honor, yeah, like students with like really good grades. And that is it was like, it was like 3,500 and it was like for France, like it was, it was like yeah but it was uh, like seven different oh, places that they were visiting okay, okay, in europe okay, like okay, france okay. um I italy about italy but it was greece? like yeah france greece they spent the fourth of july in france it was so nice what are our favorite artists without a doubt a cheer and a doubt did you did you see yeah. that there was lightning, lightning bro yeah a cheer and a doubt are like That is loud. That was scary. I don't know. Over the past house. week, we've been having thunderstorms. What not stop? Not we literally stop. had one yesterday. I'm waiting to eat this banana bread, girl. Hurry up! I got it. Uh, I'm going uh, round. Ooh. Yes, round two. Banana bread. Dessert time. Do the honors. Take the first piece. Ladies first and gentlemen, it is time for our banana bread. Ta-da! Bite first. Mmm. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm try. This is my first time trying her banana Cheers. bread. If you have not watched her video on how to make the banana bread, eye card, description, whatever, go find it. Don't watch me eat! Ah! Okay, I get nervous. Okay, ready? <laughs> That's so. Watch the video! <laughs> yes! Watch but the video! In this video, I mean Sabina's video, oops, we added the walnuts on top as well. Yeah, I said we, that we should crush it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And put it on top. Mm -hmm. Have like a little bit of crunch. You know, like the Starbucks bread where it has the, the pistachios, pumpkin, yeah. the pumpkin bread. Fun fact, we're pretty good at baking banana bread. Fun fact, we're chefs. I just did. Fun fact, we're chefs, and you should hire us. I think it was a really good idea to put the walnuts on top because. They got nice and toasted. If Gordon Ramsay sees this video, I am very honored for being able to be on your screen right now. But um, if you want this- We're coming for your career. <laughs> no. If you want yes. a banana bread recipe, we will be more than happy to give it to you. Go watch our video, Gordon. <laughs> Go subscribe, Gordon. So good. Go like, Gordon. Gordon, please. Show some love, Chef Ramsay. I feel so 
fancy. This is like, if you want to start your morning with something, because this is like filling, mm -hmm. healthy, even though it has yeah. obviously chocolate, chocolate chips, we only use an eighth a cup of sugar. This is so good and it's moist, like guys, you have to try this. Yeah. Next thing that is interesting about us. I also do musical theater. I've been singing since I She's was- She's very like, musical. Since I was three, yeah. Fun fact for the piano, I don't take lessons. Everything I learn, I teach myself by ear, so. I recently started playing on the piano again, just for myself, but um, I decided to stop a long time ago because it wasn't my thing. I didn't like it. I was like forced to do it. I want to do it. Yeah. Starting your day with music, like before you do anything, there's been like studies proven that if you start your day with music, it like increases like how you learn and everything. All right, this is the end of the video. Although we did not quite provide 10 fun facts about us, maybe- They weren't that good, but- Hey. We're besties, we'll be having more videos together, so yes. relax. So <laughs> go check out Sabina's video, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Subscribe, hit that post notification bell to stay notified whenever I upload a video. Also, like, okay, girl. share, comment what you thought. Okay, so to be clear, give you 10 facts. If you have any questions that you would like yes. to know, come with them. Fun fact, we live a block away. A, not even, like, yeah. yeah, like about not even like a block away, uh -huh. like right up the street, we can walk to each other's houses. Exactly. That is another reason why we always hang out. So mm -hmm. that is the best fun fact to end this video. Yeah. And um, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.